Here in Wiltshire, engineers have just launched the first plane made entirely with a 3D printer. Jim Scanlon and his team designed and printed the aircraft in just a week. In this test, it successfully completes a 10-minute flight. Remarkable. I'm absolutely delighted. And uh, what I'm most impressed by is how close the flight characteristics are to the team's predictions. To create the plane, the team first produced a computerized design. It was fed to a 3D printer, which cut up the model into ultra-thin slices. The layers were then built up from plastic powder, using a laser to carve out and fuse each one's shape. The novel aspect of the structure is that it's completely fastener-free. In fact, all of the control surfaces have been grown in the laser printing process, so there are no subsequent assembly operations. Right, yeah, yep. lift. Even moving parts are printed all at once, making it much easier to produce a plane. The process also makes it simple to tweak a design and reprint it, or to create complex structures. It allows us to explore manufacturing geometry and techniques that uh, are simply too expensive using other techniques. We have a geodetic structure that was used in World War II on the Vickers Wellington. <clears throat> and that was an incredibly high performance and successful structure, but extremely costly and very difficult to manufacture. The technique also reduces the cost of producing elliptical wings. These make planes more aerodynamic, and in this case, they didn't disappoint. We had a little moment after, after it came off the launcher because uh, it didn't quite come up with the energy or the airspeed that we expected. So I was a little bit unsure whether to abort the takeoff or, or to continue. We continued and thankfully it flew very well. 